the earliest societies introduction humans gradually began to evolve on earth over a million years they were entirely dependent on nature and moved from one place to another early humans lived in caves and on trees they ate fruits leaves or anything that they could find they were simple and lived easy lives they were hunters and gatherers they hunted animals and gathered fruits nuts and roots to eat according to most of the scientists the earth was formed about 4.5 billion years ago in comparison to the history of the earth human existence upon earth is new the age in which the earliest human beings lived is called the prehistoric period the study of man's physical and cultural development is related to anthropology so anthropologists are trying to examine the clues to find out more about the early man the bones of early humans the bones of animals found near the bones of early humans artifacts such as the weapons tools and implements used by early humans evolution of man though earth is billions of years old human beings appeared on earth only about 4 million over 40 lakhs years ago in africa later they spread slowly across the continents some remains of tools and other objects used by human beings have survived till date some of those tools like axes spears and grinding stones are used even today the stone age the remains of human beings have been found in india dating to a period nearly 5 lakh years ago the study of these ancient evidences of human activity in india reveals the use of stone implements this age when man used stones to make weapons and tools is called the stone age since the stone age was a period before human learned to write our knowledge of this period comes from artifacts bone tools weapons cave paintings and pottery these remains are unearthed and studied by archaeologists the stone age is further divided into four categories according to the quality of stone tools used paleolithic age old stone age mesolithic age middle stone age neolithic age new stone age calcolithic age bronze stone age the paleolithic age or old stone age 5 lakh bc to 10000 bc existence of paleolithic man paleolithic or the old stone age was from the years 5 lakh bc to 10000 bc there is no written record for the ancient period of history the age is called the primitive the prehistoric or the paleolithic age paleolithic is a greek word formed of two greek words namely paleos which means old and lithos which means stone hence this age is also called the old stone age in this age man used stone to make crude tools and weapons his life was only a little better than that of the animals in the jungle sites of paleolithic man in india paleolithic remains have been found in south india or the deccan the main sites are madurai tanjore kadur nyamti talia and bellari districts later paleolithic remains have been found in the neighborhood of chennai paleolithic remains have also been found in hyderabad dharwad bijapur belgaon gujarat reva and bundelkhand old stone implements have been found in bengal bihar odisha and madhya pradesh there must have been some connection between the paleolithic people of different parts of india as the findings are similar in different parts life of paleolithic man paleolithic man was a nomad who wandered from place to place hunting and gathering food he lived in caves and rock shelters he covered himself with coarse animal skin and leaves he ate mainly wild berries nuts roots meat of animals that he hunted and even insects for hunting and protection from ferocious animals he had to move in groups such groups were never very large any outsider was considered an enemy neither there were outsiders in the group nor there were any family ties children were looked after by the society the life of paleolithic man was full of dangers and hence his life span was only 20 to 25 years why did the food gatherers move from place to place 
There were so many reasons for this. Some of them are Paleolithic man did not know how to grow food. He therefore had to move from place to place in search of food. They lived close to sources of water to get sufficient supply of water. Once the water supply got exhausted, they moved to a new place in search of water. They hunted animals and animals too moved from one place to another in search of food. So, when animals moved, man also moved to newer places. During the process of hunting, they followed the movements of animals. In order to protect themselves from dangerous wild animals, they moved in small groups and always lived close to each other. The Paleolithic man made two major achievements which changed his life. The first important achievement was the making of stone tools, while the second important achievement was the discovery of fire. Tools of the Paleolithic man To protect themselves and to make their lives easier, the Paleolithic humans made simple and crude stone tools. They were of two kinds, core and slate tools. These stone tools have been found in the valley of River Sone and some other places in the southern or Deccan parts of the country. Core tools Core tools were made by chipping off pieces from hand-sized pebbles or from stones of flint, a type of hard rock. The stone left after chipping is called core. Core tools were usually oval or pear-shaped. They were heavy and were used as hand axes for cutting trees digging the earth and shaping sticks from wood. Slate tools Slate tools like choppers and cleavers were made from the sharp pieces, slates, that broke off while shaping core tools. These were useful for skinning animals and chopping meat. Hand axe Hand axe was a pear-shaped tool with sharp edges on all the sides. It was used for cutting objects. Cleaver Cleaver had a white chisel edge for cutting wood and small branches of the trees. Chopper Chopper was made by sharpening the thinner side of the stone. It was mainly used for chopping meat. Scraper Scraper was used for cleaning or scraping the skins of animals to make clothes. Arrowhead Arrowhead was used to kill running or escaping wild animals from the hunters. Budge Budge was used to make deep holes in the earth. Discovery of Fire Necessity is the mother of invention. Man in the primitive age discovered fire by chance or good luck. This turned out to be one of the most important discoveries made by humans. They got warmth and light from it. They could roast their food, which became tastier, easily digestible and more nourishing. They could also scare away wild animals by burning fire at the entrance of their cave during night. As fire was an object of wonder for the primitive man, he began to worship it. Once they had discovered how to make fire, slowly they began to use it for different purposes. To frighten wild animals, they kept fire burning at the mouth of the cave or hut at night and slept with comfort. It was used to keep them warm in winter. Fire was used to cook and roast the flesh of animals. Art of the Paleolithic Man Paleolithic man lived in caves or huts in the early stages of his development. He started drawing rough figures on walls and ceilings of the caves. There are depictions of running wild bisons, deers, horses, stags and herds of other animals in beautiful designs. Such depictions have been found in the caves at Altamira in Spain, Lacor in France and paintings in Bhimbhetka caves in Madhya Pradesh. All these drawings and paintings show that the Paleolithic man was a great artist. He even made ornaments from ivory, bones and beautiful stones. Maybe by painting a picture of a wounded animal, they thought that they would be successful in the hunt and obtained magical power over their prey. Religious Beliefs of the Paleolithic Man It was after thousands of years that the Paleolithic man developed certain religious beliefs. Some of those beliefs are he worshipped his ancestors after their death. He feared that otherwise they might get annoyed and hinder his life. He believed in magical powers. He buried the dead along with tools and eatables, thinking that he might need them in his journey to the next world. The Paleolithic man was afraid of lightning and thunder because he did not know what caused them. He thought 
that they were perhaps the expressions of some divine anger. The Mesolithic Age or Middle Stone Age, 10,000 BC to 8,000 BC. At the end of Paleolithic Age, man moved closer to water sources like rivers and lakes. He entered the period of Mesolithic Age or Middle Stone Age. This age was a transition period for Paleolithic man. Mostly, the features of the Old Stone Age continued, but there were some new developments. These developments were domestication of animals, improvement in tools, art of painting, burial system, domestication of animals. During Mesolithic Age or Middle Stone Age, man started making simple houses, though most of them still lived in caves and rock shelters. The domestication of animals was started. They domesticated dogs, goats, sheep and cattle. Dogs could be useful in many ways, especially in chasing and hunting animals. Improvements in tools Mesolithic man was still a hunter and food gatherer, but now the tools were better and refined, shapely and more efficient than the tools of the old stone age. These tools were smaller in size and they were called microliths. Hooks and baits improved fishing. Axes were still made of stone, but they now had wooden handles. This made it easy to use the axe. Apart from stones, animal bones and horns were also used for making the tools. In India, microliths have been found in Mysore and in the western Narmada region. Art of Painting In the beginning of the Mesolithic age, a large number of caves and rocks were painted which have been found in India. Red and white were the main two colours that were used on the rocks. These paintings tell us about hunting, fishing and religious faiths. Burial System Some human burials of Mesolithic age have been found in Rajasthan and Gujarat. These show that dead were buried along with the offerings such as food, ornaments and so on.